So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my YouTube channel and today's video is about medical PGs in, in Australia. So if you are planning to come to Australia to do your specialization, so I, I make this video in very very simple way that you can get into the PG courses. What are the requirements and what is the easy process, what are the branches you can choose, you know. So we will see in this uh, video and uh, I will try to make very short this video and my name is Dr. Akram I am basically a researcher and lecturer and I am a trainer chief with community medicine and public health general and you can reach me here at Facebook and Instagram as well. So I always make the videos for healthcare professionals if you are planning to come to Australia and uh, so for that I already make many videos for um, especially if you are medical doctor uh, nurse uh, uh, pharmacist whatever you know so in this already i can suggest you here you have to watch my previous video that this is very important video i make this is the what are the visas you can get into australia and if you are planning to come australia what are the ways to come to australia you know um, to do pg is take too much time we will see in the next slide about this process but to coming australia what is the easy way right? so you have to watch this video another video i can recommend here you know how to become doctor in australia as img this is uh, uh last week i only upload this video and a uh, lot of comments i got to especially for specialization in the in australia so i'm making this video and another that if you are after MBBS or after your MD or MS, you can come to Australia as a PhD with a scholarship. This is also one of the way, very good way, I can say, to come to Australia. And you can here, once you come here, then you can clear your exam, AMC1, AMT2, and so on. Because the scholarship can cover your all the expenses, you know, and uh, I mean very easy. And non-clinical courses, for example, MPH, you know, after MBBS or BDS, so on. I already make this video. So you can watch those videos. I highly recommend these two videos. You must watch uh, after this video, you know, this is for PG. So this is, I am here, um, University of Sydney, one of the oldest university. And this is the first medical school in the Australia. They built in 1849. So in this, this is the uh, building here. So I'm an, one of the uh, faculty member of this uh, university. I mean the of the researchers here. So what is the eligibility for PGs if you want to be a postgraduate study in Australia? That uh, you know. So I um, uh, divided into two. One is the clinical PGs another one is the non-clinical non-clinical you know or, 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 or like pharmacology anatomy physiology public health such top of are the not the same requirement as you need for clinical pgs you know so so, so because you know uh, everyone wants mostly to do pg in clinical and clinical also some of the important uh, branches you know everyone so to the important here we will uh, discuss first the clinical and later on the non-clinical courses so the clinical course if you want to do a pg in clinical for example you want to be a, a, a specialist in internal me medicine or maybe the surgery or maybe the pediatric or uh, option going or something like this you know so the requirement is that you must clear your AMC1 and AMC2 plus one year experience you need you know so after that only you are eligible to go to the PG you know so this is very uh, straightforward after your MBBS or MD your own country then you have to clear here AMC1 and AMC2 exam plus one year you have experience then only you are eligible um, to go for the PG but the problem here this is a 12 month experience this is one one month is it one year for for example in India after MBBS you have to go for one year housemanship yeah you know so in that there is a uh, some uh, you have to go like surgery then medicine this and that all the department you have to be posted there but 
in india it's like continuously uh, one to one once you finish medicine then you will go for surgery so on so on pediatric this on this decision that you know so there in 12 months you can finish but in australia this is very difficult to finish you know so as per the uh, the depart uh, the requirement of apra you know so most of the people are not finish in one year so for example you finish all the things then you are waiting for your surgery surgery maybe you will get in the next year you know so at least i mean in practically you need two years in not one year but like in uh, in written i mean we can say like theoretically there need one year but practically you can only finish in two year not in one year so total you need to be a, at least three year uh, if you are graduate from abroad you have to clear amc1 and amc50 it, it will take like one one year uh, uh, around to clear all these exams because the passing exams initiations are not very easy i already mentioned in my previous video so you can watch that you know I, even i compared with the uk so the uk is easier than the than the australia you know so so at least three year then you can be you now you are eligible to be into the pg now we will see in pg that i uh like in the medicine especially internal medicine or surgery you know these are the very basic uh two uh, clinical branches in medicine so we'll see next slide here so for example if you want to be a i mean these are the three uh very easy program everyone ask what is the easiest program in australia you can get admission you know so so here psychiatry are very easy and emergency medicine also very easy and uh, you know then uh, these two are very easy you know but if you want to go for like uh, there are not much requirement if you want to go into the psychiatry or emergency medicine but emergency medicine you know the, the, and the job is very hectic always you must be in the emergency ward and so on your rotations may be in the night and day but but this is a uh, requirement for the job if, if you are coming for emergency medicine and, and I, I i hope you already have some experience in india uh all this you know so, so but these are very easy branches you can get secretary in emergency medicine or non-clinical maybe you can get like a pharmacology in public health these are also very easiest branch for you to um to come so if you just want to come to australia so you can choose one of these and later i mean but psychiatry and internal just emergency medicine you need to be a registered uh, medical practice i mean you must be registered here you have to clear amc1 and amc2 but non-clinical for example you want to go for public health so there is no need to be a registered medical doctor in australia you know you just finish your uh, master degree or bachelor degree from india or whatever your country then you can get into the um, uh, in this uh, uh, in, in the in the program for uh, amphil then leading to phd and this is one of the uh, uh, the important here that if you are coming here for amphil amphil mostly in one year so sometimes they give you a scholarship if they not give even a scholarship you can just join this amphil and amphil can lead him to a phd so after one year your supervisor if happy with you most of the time they, they will just go to the phd and they will give you the scholarship so this is one of the good option to you you can uh, opt this option but here if you want to be a, a specialist physician or a specialist doctor in australia so it will take at least minimum six year duration this is not like india in india after just you finish your mbbs and three years pg program in india medicine surgery whatever you get admission you just turn this three years and you you, you get out you know so it's very easy in india you know you can finish in three years you can be a specialist in india but in australia it is not easy it is very very tough here you can see the duration is six years not three years so for example three years you you must be a a uh, basic training for example if you want to go to into the internal medicine in internal medicine also you want to be a specialized sub specialized for example cardiology or uh, diabetology i mean the uh, diabetologist you want to be a then you have to go for the three year three year the basic medicine and three year the sub specialized for example cardiology diabetes respiratory some that so so the total duration is uh, six years so three years you almost you are finish that 
uh, one year you clear that AMC one and two then two years you are uh, finishing one year experience it's three years then you get into this year this six more years so it is about uh, nine years after your bachelor degree from India or something and this is the scenario if everything is smooth I mean that um, once you get the uh, AMC one you clear um, in one time if two then then you, you get a scholarship I mean the uh, the internship sorry you can get internship in all this if everything on time you can finish in all this in nine years so at least if you want to be a phys specialist physician in Australia it will take nine years total nine years from India to here uh, same for if you want to be a surgeon in surgeon maybe the neuro or ortho you know then the requirement same for you must be a uh, general uh, registration you must be a doctor in a registered doctor in australia then one to two year experience this is the specialized you know uh, they ask you know uh, because in surgery very less uh, seats and the high demand and the highest paid for the surgeons here so the some of the universities they conducted their own and uh, the exam uh, exam for uh, internal medicine emergency medicine psychiatry there is no exam directly you can uh, enter but here some of the uh, universities they uh, conducted the examination for, for for surgery so basically here once you are um, finish your uh, medicine then they need additional experience that general registration then one year experience after that you must work one to two year uh, experience especially in surgery you know this is like in accredited matlab you are working there matlab aap log wahan kaam kar rahe hain magar aap koi aisa accredited program nahi hai koi aapke aapko degree nahi mil rahi hai just you are working there as a surgeon you know like so experience hai ek do saal ka they give the preference for that or some of the university also conduct some of the examinations you know so I hope now you understand to come to Australia it takes up to like three years you finish your general registration and experience then six years these programs you know now I hope um, your all doubts are clear here it is very clear what is the requirement in Australia and if you have any questions you can just uh, um, ask me uh, in the comment and if you like my videos subscribe and I always make the videos uh, uh, if you comment if you want to be somebody any specialized uh, something you know maybe like ops and gyne or pediatric or something then I, uh, further i can make those videos and thank you for watching this video